a weather warning for our region tonight. Channel 3's Kevin Geis takes us to Jeffersonville, where one family is hoping their budding trees don't get frostbite. It hit pretty hard, some of these. As Dick Harris takes a stroll through his apple orchard in Jeffersonville, he watches snow land on the petals of the blooming buds. You can cut it open and it'll be dark and you can see uh, the frost damage on it. And so we have just come into our um, bloom in the last uh, a uh, few days. Ann Harris says the growing season so far has been fantastic, but with the beauty of the bloom comes a concern as the Harrises watch the weather. Living here in Vermont, of course, we always know that this can happen. Based on the bloom stage of their trees, temperatures at 27 degrees can kill 10% of their crop. Below that, they could lose up to 90%. The sun setting Wednesday could bring temperatures between 25 and freezing across the region, leaving the Harrises crossing their fingers. But we're, we're nervous because we could, we could lose our crop. But it's not just farmers that have orchards that should be concerned. Local garden centers say that anyone who has flowers should be thinking about protecting their plants. Just because we've had this beautiful weather, doesn't mean that we aren't going to have nights like tonight. Chris Conan at Clausen's says a frost in May is a common Vermont problem, and he often encourages Vermonters to hold off planting until Memorial Day. But following Mother's Day and the warm start to spring, likely inspiring Vermonters to kick off the season, he's been warning customers all this week about the potential for killer frost creeping into the region. Start the gardening season off right by um, protecting, uh, you know, you, your investment. He recommends bringing any plant that's mobile inside a garage, a car, or a home. For plants already in the ground, consider a sheet, blanket, or towel draped over them to keep the plant warm and the frost off. That extra few minutes at the end of the day will make a huge difference making sure that those plants are protect protected. Back in Jeffersonville, the Harrises can't cover the whole orchard. So while they hope the temperature resists dropping... I think we're just going to be staring at the thermometer. Reporting in Jeffersonville, Kevin Geis, Channel 3 News.